The game 34 years in the making is less than 12 hours away. The Bemidji boys basketball team is back in the state tournament for the first time since 1985, hoping to play the role of Cinderella and looking to turn some heads. Bemidji is still riding high off of last week's section final win against Sartell St. Stephen. Oh, we're jacked up. Uh, we really haven't stopped talking about it since it happened. Um, I know personally I've watched the highlights probably 10 times already. It was really fun, great atmosphere. Everyone was playing really well and it was good. But the focus has now shifted to tomorrow's David versus Goliath showdown as unseeded Bemidji randomly drew top-seeded De La Salle, who have won six of the past seven state titles. But the Lumberjacks have upset on the mind. We have nothing to lose. We can go out and get a huge upset, and they have everything to lose. Maryland, Baltimore County 2.0, that's going to be us this year. In order to channel UMBC, who was the first ever 16 seed to win an NCAA tournament game last year, the Lumberjacks will try and stick to fundamentals to shut the Islanders down. We just got to focus on passing the ball, run transition, get back in defense transition. Just got to stop the ball early. The two names to watch for, six foot seven forward Jamison Battle, who will head to George Washington next year, and Tyrell Terry, an explosive four-star recruit who will play point guard at Stanford in the fall. But the Jacks are hoping a balanced attack can neutralize their stars. Those guys have mixtapes and we have team tapes. Those highlights from Friday night, that's Bemidji basketball. And we share the ball and everybody contributes and we all chip in. So if we can play that way, I think we have a chance. And while De La Salle has the state tournament pedigree, don't expect Bemidji to be overwhelmed by the atmosphere as the majority of the team has already played at state in either football or soccer. They're motivated by playing on that stage. You know, they've played in U.S. Bank Stadium in soccer and football, and uh, they, know, they know what it's like. It's big time, and, and they, uh, they're motivated by that, and they're ready. And that game tips off tomorrow at 10 in the morning at the barn. We'll have full coverage for you on tomorrow's night's news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.